Hi guys, so I'm here today with Day and together we want to show you this amazing resort that we had the opportunity to stay at. Um, so far we've had a, an amazing time. This is literally um, one of the most beautiful places that I've ever stayed. Would you agree? Yes, I'd agree. It's definitely one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. Um, so definitely um, we want to show you guys the Hanging Gardens of Bali and um, this is just going to be a quick video tour and hopefully you guys can enjoy it. If you have any questions feel free to drop a comment and I'll be sure to answer any questions that you might have. So right here is the lobby. This is the main entrance of the Hanging Gardens. Uh, when you arrive they have a traditional welcome ceremony. Um, and you basically just take a Oh, you basically just take a seat here. Um, you get a turmeric and ginger and orange uh, drink along with a dipped strawberry and a dip, uh, dipped snakeskin fruit, which is only here in Bali. Um, they sit down with their brochure and they explain to you all, all the things that the, um, the resort has to offer. And then afterwards, they give you some time to relax. You leave your bags with them and then they take you over to the super cool trolley system that's actually elevated and it literally can reach every single floor um, that, that is in the resort. Also at the lobby of the Hanging Gardens, they have a map where all their trees are, are located. Um, for example, they have an avocado tree, they have a jackfruit tree, they have tangerines, um, what else, bananas, everything that you can think of, coconuts. And the cool thing is that a lot of their breakfast items, um, some of the items from their bars, they actually pull a lot of the fruits and their juices. They're freshly made from this tree. And like I said, we're in Ubud. We're in the middle of a jungle. Literally, this place is a jungle. Um, and they built this beautiful resorts within the jungle. So this is amazing. Okay, so we've made it. That's seven flights down from the lobby. You're gonna um, come right into the next level, which is called the boutique. And it's called that because there is an actual Hanging Gardens boutique here. Um, and they have artifacts and different art pieces that are available for purchase by all guests and visitors of the resort. Um, and we have already gotten permission to give you guys a sneak peek tour. Um, just to be clear, if you are not staying at Hanging Gardens, it's not open to the public. So the resort is not open um, for you to just come in and visit if you're in Bali. You actually do have to be staying here to um, get these perks. So right this way. So the boutique, um, we definitely stopped here on our first night. It has so many things to offer um, between accessories, uh, artifacts and pieces for your home, clothing, things that you might uh, have forgotten to pack. They're all here in the boutique shop. So I want to say that I've seen several things in here, if not all things in here, that are um, custom in Bali and that are made by uh, Balinese. And they've all been very beautiful, um, including these little straw bags. I've seen these straw bags in like every market. Um, and even though it looks simple, it's like hand woven and it's super unique to Bali, I believe. Now I know what you're thinking, how expensive is expensive is this boutique in this beautiful place? Uh, but believe it or not, there are a lot of things in here that are very affordable. Um, so if you have a price point and you're trying to not spend so much, you can definitely find something to take back with you as a souvenir from the shop. So when you're going through uh, the markets and the different cities in Bali, you're definitely gonna be able to find a lot of artifacts and pieces um, native to the different villages, um, but I can say from personal experience of being out this since we've been here, uh, everything in this shop is probably like like uh, pristine. So it's the best of the best and it is all handmade here in Bali, every single piece. So from the artwork and artifacts to the purses, the bags, individual beadings, individual straw um, and beaded purses, wallets, all the paintings. The final room, and we're gonna get more to this as we uh, continue to tell you about Bali, but all jewelry in Bali is handmade and what, and it's handmade from like the very beginning stages. So the metal itself is broken down, molded, bent, and cut by hand. And then it's also uh, melted and burned in order to make the color. And if you could just take a look around, every piece in here has been handmade here in Bali. The amount of detail, structure, and like creativity that went into this process is absolutely amazing.
All right, guys. So now we're at the bar at the Hanging Gardens, and if you um, come over here, you can see that there's a bar, a full service bar. Um, down here, you can have lunch um, at any time of the day. Um, there's a lot of the meals here at the Hanging Garden are complimentary, so you can get complimentary breakfast, complimentary tea, complimentary lunch. Um, there's very little that you actually have to pay for once you actually come in here. One of the biggest attractions here at Hanging Garden uh, is the pool. So it's a two level uh, infinity pool. There's an infinity pool up top as well as the bottom and it's panoramic view of the jungle. Um, what's really unique about this pool, it costs $10 million to construct and it looks like slate but it's actually made from volcanic ash and from the mountainside. Um, from when they went into constructing the entire uh, property. So it's not slated, it's in its rawest form and it, and it naturally creates this very smooth structure um, of multi-dimensional levels and co colors if you just put water over it. So it makes that infinity effect even more um, amazing and, and picturesque. It's definitely probably the most Instagrammable and social media uh, posts of many places that I've seen um, for the venue. So we've made our way down and we're at the spa right now. So the spa um, operates 12 hours a day. It's open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Um, and they ask that you make a reservation, but it's not um, its not required. Um, if you can, just take a moment to listen to nature. So that's literally what you're hearing here. Um, this spa has everything that you need from a traditional Balinese bath that they, that they call the Bali bath to um, you know your regular Swedish uh, massages, full body massages, manicures, pedicures um, for individuals and for couples. Um, and it can last from anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and a half. So this is the Riverside Spa area. So you're getting a massage literally outside in the element listening to natural sounds um, and it's set up for a couple here um, or it can be individual. So this is going to be a place to get your traditional uh, massages for either 30 minutes to an hour or an hour and a half. Alright, another thing you can do is that you can take a walk down to the river. Um, this is probably about 10 flights down, I think. Um, there are all these um, Buddha uh, statues. Great place to come down here and meditate. You're by the river. It's very peaceful. Um, definitely beautiful. So definitely if you guys come down to the Hanging Gardens, check out this river for sure. Tons of things to do. You don't even need to leave the Hanging Gardens to really get a feel of Ubud. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Um, feel free to drop any questions in the comment box down below and we'll see you guys on the next one.